Hey there, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to Work It Daily, the channel that helps you turn frustration into career success. And today I want to go over some cover letter mistakes that we see constantly that hold people back from getting interviews. Just a quick reminder before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more from us, please be sure to subscribe right down here and click the bell if you want to get notifications every time we post something new. All right, let's get started. In many cases, your cover letter is part of your first impression. It's a valuable tool to help you secure a job interview if you're doing it right. However, there are some common mistakes that could be sabotaging your ability to move forward in the hiring process. Here are some errors that you should be watching out for. You're coming off as self-centered. If it feels like you're bragging about yourself in your cover letter, you probably are. Contrary to popular belief, the cover letter is not about you. It's about the company and how you feel connected to them. This is how you stand out. If you create a connection, the hiring team is more likely to remember you and want to bring you in for an interview. You're reiterating your resume. Think of your cover letter as a voice for your resume. It's saying what your resume can't. While your resume and LinkedIn profile give a hiring team a sense of your skills and experience, your cover letter is what can set you apart from the competition. Think about it this way. If you had the exact same resume as another candidate, your cover letter is what can showcase your connection to the company and help you to stand out. Your formatting is overwhelming or hard to read. If you've got bolded statements everywhere, italics, graphics, different fonts, then you really need to start from scratch. For example, if you're highlighting information so that it stands out, this can be hard to read and figure out what actually is important. The rule of thumb is to keep it simple and relatively plain with the formatting. You want the hiring team to be able to read it quickly, and getting fancy with the formatting can make it harder to read. You're using generic language. We know that writing cover letters can feel like they take forever sometimes. But if you're using the exact same cover letter to apply to different jobs, you're not doing yourself any favors. We live in a customized world. Everything from ads to beauty products is tailored to the individual. Your cover letter shouldn't be any different. If not, it won't help you stand out and it won't give the reader any new information that'll get them intrigued and want to bring you in for an interview. By the way, if you're having a hard time figuring out what to write in your cover letter but you don't want to use a generic template, be sure to check out our cover letter samples up here. Now on to the worst mistake that people make in their cover letters. You have spelling and grammar mistakes all over the place. Careless spelling and grammar mistakes can ruin your first impression and crush any chances you have of getting a job interview. Make sure to always go through your cover letter with a fine tooth comb multiple times to make sure you didn't miss any spelling or grammar mistakes. Also, you can check out online grammar checkers like Grammarly to help you spot these mistakes. Your cover letter is a wonderful tool to help you secure that next job interview, if you're doing it properly. So keep these things in mind when you write your next cover letter. What other cover letter mistakes have you experienced? Tell us in the comments. I hope this helps you write your next cover letter. I'll see you in the next video, and remember, if you want to win, you've got to work it daily.